Hello all, a very happy new year to one and all. So I came up with another video uh, of the Android penetration testing series. And in today's video, I will be sharing some basic of Android app working, like how the application will work and uh, about the Android architecture that what will be the layers of architecture that an application will be interact at the time of running. So let's get started. I'll first uh, uh, slide will be Android architecture and uh, working of the application. So uh, let's jump to the Android fundamental. But let me tell you one thing uh, before jumping to the fundamental. Your Android architecture will be completely based on Linux operating system, which means you can run each and every command which you have run uh, in the Linux operating system. For an example, ls, which is uh, listing your uh, directory uh, move that is mv cd that is change directory who am i which which shows like the logged in user at that particular time uh, cp that is copy and many more so as you can see in this screenshot i have run ls hyphen al which shows each and every information about the permission directed permission user permission and the time of creation and uh the, the the folder or the file name which is mentioned here as you can see here uh like the config folder and and many other things so you can run uh, you can run each and every command which you have uh, run in the linux operating system so in conclusion of this slide uh, the android architecture is or the android shell or the android operating system is completely based on linux operating system okay so uh, what exactly android runtime is so art is a kind of translation layer from the application's bytecode to device information what does it means for every each and every application there is a separate sandbox virtual machine and within that uh, virtual machine or the environment the application will work separately uh, which is independent to the other application and this the same concept will be work in the file system also like if application one is running in the uh, android architecture and the application two is running all also running in that particular architecture then these two application have their own environment to run particularly and to save the uh, useful information in the device itself. Uh, so next is Android identity and access management. Uh, that that uh, title is nothing but it shows us uh, the the user ID or the environment of each and every application which is installed in your device or Android device. So uh, as as the first line is uh, mentioned like e as each application has its own user what exactly does it mean uh, for every user the, the the id will be assigned at the time of uh, like assigning the user or assigning any new user and that id will be ranged from 1 double zero double zero to 9 times 6 i mean uh, 6 times 9 so uh, like if you have seen uh, the username is u0a178 which exactly means is the uid would be 10178 so uh, coming to the application level so let's say you have two applications application 1 and application 2 for uh, for generic application data uh, the file path would be data and slash apps and slash the build name of that app, uh, application and if we, if 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 any data is stored in the runtime then uh, the slash data slash data and then the build name for the same so same uh, architecture would be uh, would be available for the application 2 also which is running at that particular time or maybe after the application 1 so all the data will be separated by the separate sandbox which is uh, which is the meaning of our previous uh, slide that is uh, android runtime okay so uh, actually that is completely a, a basic working uh, idea of the android application and uh, if we talk about the android architecture so there are mainly five uh, levels for the same layers for the same the first one is and the very bottom of this architecture is the linux kernel the second one is hardware abstraction layer the third one is libraries and uh, the fourth one is java api framework and the last which is the topmost uh, called the system apps i'll tell you i'll uh, discuss each and every one uh, every layers one by one Okay, so our very first uh, layer 
is Linux kernel, which support a different type of CPUs in 32-bit or 62-bit different type of variation uh, variations. Uh, in 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 that uh, Linux kernel, on the API version is also mentioned. For an example, any of the APK, the Android manifest file is the main file which which is mentioned uh, all the versions of Android using at that particular time. So in short. If you if you if we talk about the SDK version for the same for any of the APK, there is a minimum uh, version that the APK can run and the maximum version that the APK can support for the same. So this is the basic architecture or basic idea about Linux kernel. Let me uh, let me click on this uh, link which I have provided. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, so this is the core topic for uh, like the Android developers or if you want to get any information about the common kernels. So in this blog, all the Android related or kernel related information is available. So you can check it out. I'll mention in the description. So here you can get an e uh, get each and every idea about what exactly uh, the, the Android version is and how it is working, like what will be the life cycle for the same like how we can uh, develop for the same, how, can, how we can mention the API version and many other things. So here you can see each and every information about the kernels. So coming back to our uh, presentation. Okay, so our second layer is hardware abstraction layer. Uh, that layer allows an access to a hardware component of the device. For an example, if you want to initiate any payment process, then you just uh, open your application and just scan the QR code of the uh, like any of the shop merchant. So in order to like complete the payment for the same, uh, to scan the document using a built-in camera in your mobile devices, uh, like if you are using Snapchat, then you allow the location to the application so that you can see each and every uh movement or track you can track each and every of your friends like across the globe uh and uh like they again a great service which is called nfc card which is again uh which is uh, available in today's devices and uh, many other things like many other things you can you can interact uh where you can interact your uh, hardware component of your device to in order to complete the further process so that complete scenario will become in hardware abstraction layer coming to our next layer that is native c c++ libraries so like it includes some uh, some of the functions or some of the um, what we can say uh, services which is uh, comes under this uh, c c++ libraries and the first one is webkit which is a nothing but a built in web browser for the application for an example if you if you ever use any mutual fund application then they use a built in uh, web browser uh, related to functionality so that they can just import all the web uh, like web application to that to the mobile application and uh, they 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 do the uh, further processes the second one is the media framework and the third one is open gl and open max gl this these are the uh, these are some ui frameworks for 2d and 3d model or design there is nothing uh, rocket science in this coming to our next slide that is java api framework so Basically, this this layer will allow your application to interact with the other application or the services which is running in your mobile device at that particular time. So for an example, content providers, for an example, activity, intent, location, package. For uh, if you talk about the activity, like if any of the application want to interact the other application on the same time, then it will redirect to the application which is installed in your mobile or uh, which is already uh, installed by the system application for an example uh, like if you if you uh, going to any of the website uh, e-commerce website like mintra or any amazon or flipkart then you just select the upi payment for the same and when the moment when you click on that uh, payment option or the upi payment option it will go to the application which is installed uh, in your uh, mobile application already for an example phone pay so when you click on the phone pay upi payment option it will redirect to the phone pay application and then you just do your payment and it will redirect uh, to the amazon uh, page for the same to to complete the payment process 
so it is it is something like uh, interacting your uh, the one application to the another one so it is uh, comes under the java api frameworks and uh, if we if we talk about our last layer uh, well well these system applications are those which is uh, pre installed in in the mobile devices for an example uh, you have installed uh, true caller and in true caller you have uh, some of the functionality that you can generate or initiate a call from the application itself and that application will use the phone uh, services which is pre installed in the mobile devices like the application which is uh, which you have uh, majorly focused like the name phone so that that phone service will be used by the true caller in order to initiate the phone or in, in, initiate the call uh, similarly if you uh, like if you if you want to use camera so uh, like for uh, any any scanning of qr code to initiate the payment or to initiate uh, or to scan the qr code to get the information you just uh, open the camera and that application will use your uh, pre installed camera uh, services from the mobile device itself for calendar if we talk about teams then you just uh, <clears throat> generate a meeting and that uh, teams will uh, take uh, either it can take uh, the the uh, calendar of your phone and if if you allow the application to use the same then it will definitely allow then uh, allow the calendar application and it will mention all the information about the meeting which uh, going in the uh, in the future so uh, this is how uh, uh, the system app and the system apps layer will work okay so this is it for today and uh, see you guys on the next chapter of this series bye bye